woke up this morning. I started doing the Blogilates 30 day ab challenge again. Not like every day, I'm just kind of doing the exercises on some days to reintroduce all of them. And this morning I did the, I don't know, what is it? The thing where you're in plank and you suck your stomach in into a bridge, whatever that's called. Um, it killed me. It was really hard. And I got a little rug burn on my elbow. So anyways, I just did uh, like 50% of my morning skincare routine. I have been first thing in the morning to just a dry face. I've been putting a little of this pep up. This is a little light under sunscreen moisturizer in the morning. And then I came on top. I've really been enjoying this Dermatology Broad Spectrum SPF 45 Anti-Aging sunscreen with niacinamide that I reviewed for you guys is an Elta MD UV clear dupe. I want to upgrade it beyond a dupe. I think it's better. Many of you have mentioned that you acquired this after watching the review and you're really happy with it. So that makes me happy because this is obviously more affordable and I really like it. But, um, you know, the reason I'm blabbing to you guys currently and not, um, you know, fast forwarding happy music through this like I normally do is that I also got you guys wanted to see their tinted sunscreen so I got the protect and glow SPF 45 light tint I've used it once but I'm gonna put it on for you guys this morning in lieu of my usual exuviance um, tinted um, sunscreen you you know I put tinted sunscreen on over my base layer of regular sunscreen to take advantage of the iron oxides in tinted sunscreens for more visible light protection. I think you guys think I'm a lot frostier than I actually am. I'm actually a little more, you know, I need more yellow undertones in my skin and I tan, I'm like very, I, it's easy for me to tan um, if I'm out in the sun. I don't burn uh, super easily. Here it is on my finger. This one is more like Elta's, more a little bit more in consistency. It's, it's consistency is more like the Elta MD tinted sunscreen UV elements. So it's not as liquidy as Exuviance, less spread. Getting back to the issue of spread, you can see here that it doesn't just shear out all over onto my face like Exuviance does. Exuviance, a little bit of Exuvi Exuviance will get, will get you a lot of coverage. It's a little, t it gives a little bit more tint than, than uh, Exuviance. Exuviance is more sheer. It's a little, a little darker, a little slightly more orange undertone, but it looks nice. Um, I'm going to finish putting that on. <laughs> My, I always have to make sure I'm in focus when I come come back, otherwise it's annoying when I edit this. I'm like, oh my god, I'm not in focus, and then I have to cut it out, and you guys are probably like, why did she stop talking to us? Because I was just a blob. Because this has a kind of more of a peachier undertone, it does a good job giving a little camouflage to blue tints, to blue coloration, veins and things like that. Um, but it's not very heavy coverage like you would get in a makeup, like in a foundation or something, but it gives a nice, it gives a nice luminosity to the skin. Side note, there is a huge underselling of tinted sunscreens to men. I think because they kind of like suggest maybe makeup and you know not all men are going to be comfortable with that but men really can benefit from wearing definitely mineral sunscreens, zinc titanium dioxide, and men just like women don't want to have that white cast. Adding the iron oxides and the tint to the sunscreen can be done in such a way that it's not like Oh, hi, I'm wearing foundation. You know, it's, it, it's obviously generally pretty subtle. 
So there is a huge underselling of tinted sunscreens. They need to ditch the beard balm thing and go to, you know, more tinted sunscreens. Um, Cause you know, having, having that tint, I think would make wearing sunscreen more acceptable to more men. And you know, men definitely need sunscreen just as much as women do. <laughs> So yeah, pretty happy with that. I like the tint quite a bit. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm gonna go get some more coffee because I'm feeling as though the one coffee I had this morning is not quite cutting it. I, um, what was I gonna say? I can't remember. Clearly I need another oh. It's turtle time. Daddy Bo. I'm so excited. It's the weekend. It's the freaking weekend. I'm about to have me some fun. You're rocking your UT colors, the the rust, burnt orange it's called, burnt orange I think, like UT Longhorns, Austin. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize that one. Well, go. Hook'em I think is what they say. Yeah. Horns. Hey everybody, happy Saturday. So we're gonna go get um, some smoothies uh, for lunch today at a place called Nectar. Um, they have them in several areas, but we're gonna place our order on their app. And uh, if you guys have a Nectar in your area, they're really good. I'll show you the menu on the app. Uh, they have a variety of different smoothies and stuff, and you can customize your order. And they currently have a promo going on until May 31st where you get a free smoothie, so. We're gonna take advantage of that. Um, so yeah. Everything they have is completely plant-based. They make their um, cashew milk fresh in the store. They make it themselves. And it's all vegan and uses fresh fruit, no like processed stuff, and doesn't have any added sugar. Although some of the smoothies and things they sweeten with, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, I'm blanking on what it's called, uh, agave. But you can you can tell them to remove that, and you can add in things as well. So they have this turmeric sunrise that looks really good. It's got pineapple, mango, coconut water, and uh, you can get you just go into the app. You can choose your size. They have a kid size: 16 ounce, 24 ounce, 32 ounce, um, and then I guess this particular. Um, drink comes with cocoa butter. You can choose to not have that. Um, and then you can remove certain things or add certain things. So if you wanted it sweeter, I guess you could add agave. Um, or if you wanted a little more protein, you could add a protein of your choosing. They have whey protein, but they also have pea protein, hemp protein, chia seeds, um, hemp hearts. Ooh, bee pollen. <laughs> you guys are always asking me about bee pollen, I think, in skincare, but it looks like you can consume it. Um, all right, let's go back and I'll show you what else they have. Um, in addition to the smoothies, they have, um, bowls, uh, like acai bowls. They look really good. Um, they have this one, uh, that is peanut butter bowl updated. What is that? Healthy snack or post-workout filled with protein enzymes. The PB bowl is a peanut butter lover's dream come true. You hear that? Peanut butter lover's dream come true. <laughs> it's acai, banana, strawberries, dates, peanut butter, and their house-made cashew milk blended together and topped with hemp seed, granola, fresh strawberries, and bananas. Abby, the top of the couch is not your bed. Oh, I'm turning into sweet boy. I was rambunctious and now I'm getting sleepy. It's my nap time. Ty B. Did you have a nice walk? You're so soft, Ty B. You're so soft. It's the doodle, the, the doodle in you, or poodle. He's a multi poo. For those of you wondering, he's a sweet boy though. Is sweet boy a breed? Oh. Hi everybody. I want to go to the smoothie shop. I like peanut butter. I like peanut butter. I like peanut butter. Yeah, they should have doggy smoothies. Just love.
just love. So I got, so I got the green apple detox. It is a green apple, celery, I think celery, no. Green apple, cucumber, lemon, fennel, kale, and ginger. And then I also got um, hemp seed protein added. Yeah, I like the hemp And what did you protein. get? I have the turmeric sunrise, mm -hmm. and it's got the turmeric mango, mm -hmm. um, coconut butter, Ooh. and I also got the hemp seed protein boost. How is it? It's good. It's really good. Yeah, my, my green juice is good. Do my um, turmeric shot here. And I need to get a little better uh, thing for that. I can't see, so. Right. Here we go. Of it. Is it coconut milk or it's just blended up turmeric and water? I think. Oh wow! It's really good though. Is my mouth yellow now? Uh, just a tiny bit. No, no, not really. I have yellow under my nail from trying to peel the turmeric. Yeah, you've been eating turmeric lately, and you've noticed it helped your trigger thumb. I believe it did. I'm not going to say it was totally that, but. This was completely frozen where I couldn't turn it, uh -huh. bend it, and yeah. look at it now, it doesn't hurt at all. Yeah, it definitely, turmeric has I been don't shown. I know if it's the turmeric, but yeah. something, something moved. Turmeric has been yeah. shown to be helpful for osteo, for arthritis symptoms, and, but you have to consume it with black pepper. Yeah, I do. Yeah, you do. What I do is at the bottom of the blender, mm -hmm. on the, where the blades are, mm -hmm. first I put in a, a generous uh, grinding of black pepper, mm -hmm. then I cut up the, the, chop up the turmeric, put it in, and the ginger, mm -hmm. and I grind those. Then I put my greens and water and ice and uh, flaxseed, too. That's what you have every morning? Oh, I, I, I don't know. We have it in the morning. Sometimes I have it in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. But I try to have one every day. <clears throat> because I've been getting the power greens at Costco. Mm -hmm. It comes in a giant bag and it's a nice mix. Mm -hmm. So that's what I use. And cilantro when I have it. Yeah, the cilantro really does kick it up. Yeah, the power greens mix that you get at Costco is pretty good. Was good. I definitely feel I enjoyed that uninflamed. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, yeah. I, look really at good. mine. It's all gone. Yeah. I could sip on this all day long. We'll have to remember to bring our little silicone straws next time. That's the only only thing I've yeah, forgotten this time, we should so that do we don't that. have to use the plastic straws. I like straw. my glass straws. Too. Yeah, you. Yeah, your glass straws. You know they make. Um, they make portable glass straws that you can carry in your purse. Almost like, have you seen how chop how chopsticks come? Oh, you know, how like cute! Chopsticks come yeah, out? they have a, a drinking straw like That's that. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. I'd be nervous to buy a house here on the bayou. Yeah, me too. It's tempting because they're so pretty. But... I better watch the road. Um, in addition to drinking the rose nectar water. Mm -hmm. Which I believe is elevating my vibration. Now the turmeric is raging war against my inflammation, and I feel very cleansed. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about um, at Costco this week. They were demoing the Vitamix. And how I always get tempted to get that thing, but it's like four hundred dollars. We're saying, yeah, I mean, it's over four hundred, I think. Yeah. I get tempted to. They also have the blend tag there, and I don't know of the two which is better, but I think the Vitamix you can put hot liquids in there, like if you wanted to make, <clears throat> oh, say for example, ginger, ginger soup or ginger yeah. carrot soup. Yeah, you can put hot things in there. So we came over to Kohl's because my mom ordered something that she has to pick up. And she's waiting in line for it. And I'm over here by the exercise equipment. This is where my yoga mat came from, I believe, I want to say. That, 
this is it, I think. Uh, the guy Moon. But <laughs> have you guys ever tried these as seen on TV? The Simply Fit board? They're kind of amazing. I'll show you guys. See if you can see. I have you on a vacuum cleaner box. They also have this total glute trainer. I'm kind of tempted to get this. It works the inner thighs inwardly. I'm loving my exercise bands that I have, but this is nice in that you can use it to target the inner thighs by doing a uh, inward motion. I have one of these ab wheels or a modified, you know, version of this in my gym. They're really hard over here to the 99 cent store. We've got Easter bubbles. <laughs> I think Tyvee would go berserk for those, but that might be fun yeah. I think if you tried to eat them, they might make them sick. <laughs> Speaking of Tyvee, he's getting a new bow tie. Bow tie. Do they have hair bands here? Um, I like this brand, Goody. They do have all kinds of hair things over there. You're gonna take this part off though, right? We're not gonna wrap that around his head. <laughs> no, he'd be trying to be bulgy eyes if I did that. Um, yeah, no, I take that off. Oh, okay. That oh, dude's cute. Yeah, those are cute little. They light up. They're cute. Yeah. Hey, hey little boy. <laughs> he had another bath. Last night. Uh -huh. or, yeah, yesterday. Yeah, he was really soft. I and must I'm... say, I really enjoyed uh, going to Nectar. That was quite a treat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's one free, you get one free 16 ounce, I think it is, drink with uh, if you download the app through May 31st. Um, so, yeah, my, my green juice was really good. Energizing. The other thing that I like about it is it's near Costco, so yeah, on shopping day, yeah, yeah. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna conclude the vlog here. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget sunscreen, sunscreen and subscribe. And